What's the biggest problem of buying a property from a wholesaler? ARV is inflated and RIA is deflated. Right? Yeah. ARV of $395,000. Really? That's the first and the biggest problem that the majority of us deal with when we buy from wholesalers. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong to do or deal with any of these people. All I'm saying is in the majority of cases, one kills the creativity, the other sucks out the actual juice from the deal. That's it. How do we buy? How do we want you to buy? You buy direct. You sit down, eyeball to eyeball, belly to belly, and you have a conversation with the seller. And that's what we will be focusing on. That's the kind of transactions that we will be showing today. Okay? Will that be good? Yes. yes. If today in your deal, you can buy, instead of 80, 85, 70% ARV, if you can buy at 50, 60% ARV, will that change your business slightly? Yes. Will that help? Yes. That's what we'll talk about today, okay? Now, this is the crux of real estate investment. This is what Robert Kiyosaki, is not being recorded, is it? Okay, this is, so this is my recording. Outside of this, please don't record what I'm about to say. This is what Robert Kiyosaki charges you $45,000 for, to teach you these four things. In buying real estate, investment real estate, what's the first thing that you need to learn how to do? Calculate the? Calculate the ARV. How many of you do not know what ARV is? It's okay if you don't. ARV stands for, sir, what's your name? Prasad, can I have a round of applause for being honest? He's the only guy who's doing this. ARV stands for Prasad after repair value. What is the market value of your property after repairs? How do you know this? Just, just, just ask the wholesaler, he'll tell you. <laughs> Comps. How about Zillow? No. Come on. The only way, the only way of knowing actual ARV, it's what's selling in the last 90 days, if you can, in that subdivision, <coughs> single family. That's the only way of determining the true ARV of the property. Not CAD value, not Zillow, not your wholesale, but the actual cost. So the first thing you need access to, immediate access to, I'll show you examples today, where we've had to change the strategies because somebody across the street sold the house for $20,000 lower than what they used to be. So what does that do to our ARV? Kills it. So you need access to what's selling as of this morning, immediate comps. Not comps that are emailed to you. Immediate access to immediate comps. Make sense? Number two, rehab. How do you know what a rehab on a property is? I feel that this is a fifteen thousand dollar rehab. <laughs> you have to walk the site. How many rehabbers here? Now, would you can, can, I, can I have you guys stand up, please? So, for those of you who are getting started, these are your best friends. Rehabbers. Now, let me ask, what's your name, man? Pam. Pam. First of all, you're new, I was you? You are new yeah. in the real okay. yeah. And if Prasad wants to walk a site with you, just as a teaching opportunity, would you give him dibs on at least one job site for free? Where he can just ask you, pay, maybe take you out for lunch or dinner or something like that? Mm -hmm. I'm serious. A rehabber, being friend with a rehabber, would teach you a job, walk a job site, and estimate, okay, you know what? To replace a roof, how much does it cost? To replace an air conditioning, how much does it cost? To put a peg in that you said. To, to rehab the foundation of a property, how much does it cost? Absolute essential numbers. And walking with a rehabber, learn these figures for yourself. <coughs> there is no website that you can go to. Or, or more ask the seller. Today, if I have time, I'll actually play a recording of a few distressed phone calls that we've taken. Would you like that? Yes. And you'll, you'll estimate 
And most distressed sellers live in an absolute illusion, disillusioned world. This is a perfect property, it does not need any work. It's ready to move in. It's worth a million dollars. Can value is $87,000. No. So, that's the second thing that you need to know. Third, equity. If the market value of a property, or let's say AR, we can keep it simple, is 100,000, the loan balance is 50,000, what's the equity? Make sense? ARV 50, mortgage balance 50, equity in simple words is about 50. How do you know the equity? Subtract the rehab cost. And I'm sorry? Subtract the rehab cost. Nope. Ask the seller. Really? <laughs> well, there's a starting point. D of trust. Do you know what a deed of trust is? A deed of trust, uh, give me your name again, man. Edu. So, Edu, you buy a property from JP Morgan. Oh, you did okay. Meaning they gave you a loan on their property. They secured their loan by filing a deed of trust against your property, which basically says, I do borrowed hundred thousand dollars from my property. So we have a lien of hundred thousand dollars against your property. In simple words, that transaction is recorded in a deed of trust. Now, if a deed of trust is issued five, six, seven, let's say eight years ago. Can you estimate it, the current mortgage balance? How? Amortization schedule, absolutely correct. In that short period, it ain't going down at all. True. True. Depending on the, on, the, on the maturity of the loan, yes. You need an amortization schedule. Where do you get an amortization schedule? Online, just Google it. You have a billion amortization schedules in the world. Or you can log into real life. Competition. This is probably the most important thing that determines the range of our offers. Who are we competing with? I'll show you a deal today where uh, and I'll, we'll put it up on real life and then we'll show you the deal. Where we were outbid by uh, home investors, we buy new homes, by $7,000. But the guy still sold the home to us. So competition is not just in money. Competition is also the maturity of the other party that you're dealing with. And you know, you know what? How I uh, beat the competition from the home investors cup, I was $7,000 off. I offered to pay for his moving costs from here to New Bronze Belts. Is that how you say it? New Bronze Belts? Yeah. 700 walking miles. Let me talk about that. The last but not the least is the exit plan or your ability to close. That's why I saw a few hands of people that are looking to lend money, private money, or hard money, people there. Only one. Man, you should be in demand, two. Get their numbers. These are people that will give you that edge or somebody who does not have the ability to close. Okay, with me so far? Essentials of being able to construct an offer. Now, what I'm showing you is this. I believe in data, education, and actual deals. What good is education if you cannot give me a deal today that I can go and act on? Would you agree to that? How many of you have been to this educational seminar that you've paid thousands of dollars for and comes one day like, uh, so what's next? Right? And no one's been in that shoes before. <laughs> So today we look at, we create an actual, we show you an actual deal, and then we go and find a deal like that, live as of this morning in your area. Man, no one's impressed? Yeah. Yeah. You got that. 
tough card to play. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, can we turn off the recording for, for a second, please?